Hello guys, are you a biryani lover? If yes, then you must watch this video. From delicious to dangerous, the truth about the biryani. Biryani is a popular rice based dish that originated in the India, but it is now enjoyed by people all over the world. It is a flavorful and aromatic dish that is made with a variety of ingredients and spices. Do you know that there are many different types of biryanis? Each has its own unique flavor profile and cooking method? Let me tell you. Some of the most popular types of biryanis are Hyderabadi Biryani, Lucknow Biryani, Sindhi Biryani, Kolkata Biryani and Vegetable Biryani. Hyderabad Biryani, this type of biryani originated in the city of Hyderabad in India, which is made with basmati rice, meat, usually chicken or mutton, and a blend of aromatic spaces like cardamom, cinnamon and cloves. It is often served with raita and salon. Salon in the sense of tangy curry. Second one is Lucknow Biryani. This type of biryani is from the city of Lucknow in India, which is made with basmati rice, meat, usually chicken or lamb, and a blend of spices like saffron, cardamom and cloves. It is often served with raita and korma. Korma is a type of curry. The third biryani is Sindhi Biryani. This type of biryani is from the Sindhi region of Pakistan, which is made with basmati rice, same like other biryanis, and meat, usually here beef or mutton, and a blend of spices like cumin, coriander, and ginger. It is often served with raita and achar. Achar is a type of pickle. And fourth type of biryani is Kolkata biryani. This type of biryani is from the city of Kolkata in India, which is made with basmati rice, meat, usually they use chicken, and a blend of spices like nutmeg, maize, and bay leaves. It is often served with egg and potato. The fifth type of biryani is vegetarian biryani. This type of biryani is made with vegetables instead of meat which is a popular option for vegetarians and vegans. It can be made with a variety of vegetables like peas, carrots, potatoes and cauliflower and is often flavored with spices like turmeric and cumin and coriander. Overall, biryani is a beloved dish in many cultures because of its rich flavor and versatility. Do you know that there are some potential health risks of consuming biryanis frequently, especially outside biryanis? Let me explain for you. Biryanis are typically made with rice, meat, vegetables and a variety of spices. While they are a delicious and popular dish, they can also be high in calories, saturated fats and sodium, which can contribute to weight gain, high blood pressure and other health issues. One serving of chicken biryani can contain as many as 1100 calories which is nearly half the daily recommended intake of an average adult. Additionally, many biryanis are cooked in ghee or other oils, which can increase the dish's saturated fat content. Biryanis can also be high in sodium, which can contribute to high blood pressure and other health problems. A single serving of biryani can contain as much as 1000 milligrams of sodium. Do you believe that? which is nearly half the daily recommended intake. Consuming biryanis frequently, especially outside, can also increase the risk of foodborne illnesses such as bacteria. This is because biryanis are typically cooked in large batches, which can make them susceptible to bacterial growth. If they are not stored and handled properly, overall, consuming biryanis outside frequently can be harmful to one's health due to the high calorie, saturated fat and sodium content, as well as the risk of foodborne illnesses. It's important to consume biryanis in lesser quantities and prepare them at home using healthy cooking methods and fresh ingredients whenever possible. You should know one thing that is making healthy food choice is essential for improving overall health. When it comes to biryanis, it is possible to make healthier choices and still enjoy this delicious dish. I'll tell you four tips for making healthier biryanis at home. Okay, is everyone ready now? Good. Choosing healthier proteins. 
consider using proteins like lentils or chickpeas instead of fatty meats like mutton or beef the second tip is use healthy cooking methods instead of using ghee or butter use healthy oils like olive oil or coconut oil to cook the biryani add more vegetables include a variety of vegetable like carrots green peas green beans and bell peppers in your biryani to increase the fiber and nutrient content otherwise you also can use whole grains instead of using refined white rice use brown rice or other whole grains like quinoa or bulgur to increase the fiber and nutrient content if you are at home this is fine this is all fine but when you are dining out no worries there are also ways to make healthier choices when ordering biryanis look for healthier options look for biryanis that are made with linear proteins like more vegetables and healthier cooking methods you always make sure of portion sizes consider sharing a biryani with a friend or taking half home for leftovers so that you can control portion sizes and outside the third tip is choosing healthier sides consider choosing a side salad or a vegetable dish instead of fried appetizers or high calorie sides ask for modifications ask for the biryani to be made with less soil or for the sauce to be served with on the side to control the calorie and fat content overall incorporating more vegetables using healthy cooking methods and choosing linear proteins and whole grains can help make biryani is a healthier portion hope you all understood now you know one thing we all have some misconceptions about biryanis and health for example some people may believe that biryanis are a healthy dish because they contain rice and vegetables i can explain why this may not be the case and how other ingredients and preparation methods can affect the healthiness of the dish let me explain some common misconceptions rice and vegetables make biryanis healthy that is true but while rice and vegetables can be healthy components of a biryani it's important to consider other ingredients and preparation methods that can affect the overall healthiness of the dish for example biryanis can often contain high fat meats like mutton or chicken with skin and may be cooked in ghee or butter which can increase the calories and saturated fat content the second misconception is spices are unhealthy biryanis can be flavorful because of the spices used there is no evidence that spices themselves are unhealthy in fact some spices like turmeric and cumin may have health benefits however it is important to consider the amount of salt and sodium in the biryani as excessive consumption of sodium can lead to high blood pressure and other health issues the third misconception is homemade biryanis are always healthy is that ha while making biryanis at home can be a healthier portion compared to ordering from a restaurant it is still important to consider the ingredients used and the cooking methods homemade biryanis can still contain high fat meats or be cooked in unhealthy oils which can increase the calories and saturated fat content the final misconception that i would like to explain is low fat biryanis are healthy no some people may believe that choosing low fat or low calorie biryanis automatically make the dish healthy however it is important to look beyond the fat and calorie content and consider the overall nutrient content of the dish low fat biryanis may still contain high amounts of sodium or lack important nutrients like fiber finally i would like to give some practical advice on how to reduce the frequency of eating biryanis outside you can suggest alternatives to eating out such as meal preparing at home or trying different cuisines healthier than biryanis for example instead of relying on outside food try preparing biryanis at home this way you can control the ingredients and cooking methods which can significantly impact the healthiness of the dish and you should try different cuisines while biryanis are undoubtedly delicious fine there are other cuisines right that offer healthier options for example you can try japanese or thai cuisine 
which tend to use healthier ingredients and cooking methods. Limit eating out. This is better, if you ask me. If you enjoy eating out, try limiting the frequency to once a week or less. This can help reduce your overall intake of unhealthy food and give your body a chance to recover. And the other advice is choose healthier options. When eating out, try choosing healthier options on the menu. Like look for dishes that are grilled or baked instead of fried. And ask for sauces and dressings on the side. Be mindful of portion sizes. Eating too much, even if it is healthy food, can still lead to weight gain and other health issues. Try not to over it. By following these tips, you can reduce the frequency of eating biryanis outside and make healthier choices for your overall health and well-being. That is all from my end guys. I think I covered all the truths about biryani. What types of biryanis, tips for making healthier biryanis at home, things to consider when ordering biryanis from outside, some misconceptions about biryanis and health that we have and finally some practical advice also. Guys, you also share your own experiences and tips for eating healthier and making better food choices. Do you prefer making biryani at home or ordering it from a restaurant? Why? Have you tried any alternate dishes that are similar to biryani but healthier? If so, what are they? Comment in this video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe our Me Teju YouTube channel and click on the bell icon guys. Thank you.